Hey guys, got a little update on the John Way 250. I think in the, the video before I said it was a Yamaha clone. I don't think that's quite accurate. I feel like this is a Honda clone, a Honda Reflex to be exact. All the body panels and everything look exactly like the Reflex. I don't know where I got that Yamaha information, but I don't think that's accurate. Um, I got most of the body taken off. And I really needed to do that just to get to the spark plug. Believe it or not. It's buried underneath the plastic. There's no real easy way to get to it besides taking off that rear assembly. And the, uh, the foot panels and stuff. But I got a battery for it. It was like 50 bucks at Walmart. A, uh, what's it called? A G M acid glass mat like 50 bucks charged up nicely did some testing on it doesn't seem to have any parasitic draws which i was kind of worried about um let's see what else i got to the spark plug took it out cranked it over it does have spark so i was pretty happy about that i sprayed some starting fluid in it cranked it over and it did run off the starting fluid. So I was very happy about that also. Uh, the one thing I did find was I have the brake lever off. This is the brake lever. And this, I took it apart. Obviously they weren't working. And this is what I found inside of it. I'm guessing it's due to like water, maybe even just oxygen getting to it, but it's like all gummed up and it's not really crystallized. It's just like gummy and gooey. And, and this is the other brake lever, master cylinder. It's like corroded right through the sight glass. I mean, believe it or not, I feel like I could get this one back working by cleaning it out and doing all that. But the other one, I, I feel like it deteriorated the sight glass plastic, I guess it is. I would think it'd be glass, but I'm guessing it's plastic and it's just not very good. So I got two new ones from eBay. They say they fit the John Way 250 in this year. And it was only $35 for both of them, both master cylinders, both levers, the hardware to hook it up. It doesn't come with like the lines, the brake lines or the calipers or anything, but I feel like those can be saved. When I took the end off this one, the line was dripping fluid it wasn't like clogged up or anything so i feel like everything else is probably good something something happened here just contaminated it so i'm just going to try to start new with that um but yeah the the connectors were disconnected like the safety switches that hook up to these plugs here so they make you like pull on a brake lever or else it won't even crank over those are disconnected that might have been the problem from the get-go. They said it wouldn't start. It hadn't start in four years, which was unbelievable. So I sprayed some starting fluid in it, and it putted over while the starting fluid was burning. I did it again, and then I did it a third time, and believe it or not, it kept running. I was blown away. I thought for sure this thing had had like ethanol gas put in it. And even not, four years is a long time for any gas to stay running. Stay good enough to run. So I don't know. But I replaced the batteries in these key fobs. I tested them. They're 12 volt batteries. And the one was down to 10 point three and the other one was to like five volts or something so i got new batteries 
off Amazon. I think it was a five pack for ten dollars, which is cheaper than Walmart. Walmart was one battery. It was a Duracell battery, but it was one battery for twelve dollars. But apparently this has like an alarm. So you lock, unlock, um, a bell, and then it even has a remote start. I haven't tried that function yet, but I have tried the alarm, which if you push this, it's super loud. So that's locked. Now, if you even come up to the scooter and like touch it, It's, it's alarming, so the alarm does work. So it's unlocked, and just watch this, guys. This is amazing. Like, I feel like if this thing ever had ethanol gas put in it, it would never run. This thing has probably been filled up with just straight-up non-ethanol gas. Watch this. I mean, you watch the gas gauge. The gas, it has a little bit more than empty. See, so go up just a little bit. So just sit there and run. <laughs> it's amazing. I cannot believe this thing runs on four-year-old gas it cannot be four years old ethanol or not i haven't put any extra gas in it the only thing i've done is check the oil make sure it had oil in it which it did and the oil looked brand new uh i haven't like revved it up or anything i don't have it on the center stand so if I had it on the center stand, I could probably check it better, see if it, you know, the RPMs can increase. I've just pretty much started it up like it was just running there, just idled for, you know, 10, 15 seconds at a time. I really need brakes before I can, you know, take it out and give it a test drive. But I am blown away. I feel like it might have been this... This uh, switch that got disabled off the brakes, so you couldn't start it. They said they started up from the garage, drove it over to the house, and then from there it wouldn't run. I don't know how that would get unplugged from there, but who knows? He could have been like reaching around or something, and they're not really super accessible, but they're kind of accessible, like he was reaching somewhere and just knocked one of the leads off. But that's it, guys. This is amazing. $400. I think it's got, what did the mileage say? It was like, it was something. It was more than I would have assumed it would have. It says... 12,869 miles. That's quite a bit of miles, I think, on a scooter. It's a 20, uh, 2007. So I'm guessing this was used as a daily commuter for years until it stopped running. He's got records of it being serviced. I mean, if it really was serviced and it's only got 12,000 miles, this thing is good for at least another 12,000. I don't think these things go for a hundred thousand <laughs> on these motors. They're pretty, pretty, uh, pretty small. I believe it's Chinese, so who knows? These guys could be up in their game as of recently. It's a two hundred and fifty cc. They say it goes approximately seventy five miles an hour. So this thing could be, this could be a a runner. That's the big update on that. Thanks for watching.